The vast intertidal habitat at the refuge is one of the largest spawning sites for horseshoe crabs in Massachusetts. The tidal flats below will become a safe haven for juvenile crabs until they head out to deeper waters as adults. There is much more to the horseshoe crab than meets the eye. Let's go below and explore their world. You can find countless invertebrates in Monomoy's terrestrial and intertidal habitats. None, however, has been around as long as the living fossil, commonly known as the horseshoe crab. They are one of the oldest animals on the planet and can be traced back through the geologic record to around 445 million years ago. That's 200 million years before the dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Monomoy National Wildlife Refuge is one of the most productive spawning sites for horseshoe crabs in Massachusetts. Each spring, over several high tide cycles, adults return to spawn along Monomoy's long stretches of sandy beach habitat, depositing tiny eggs in the sand. Relatively few of these eggs will actually hatch. Many will be exposed to air and dry out, and others will become the buffet and primary food source for Monomoy's numerous migrating shorebirds. At least 20 species of shorebirds, such as great black back and laughing gulls, lesser yellow legs, red knots, short-billed dowagers, sandpipers, and others rely on horseshoe crab eggs to build fat reserves during their annual migrations. Eggs and larvae are also an important food source for native fish, such as the American eel, striped bass, and flounder, and such invertebrates as fiddler crabs and spider crabs. The lucky surviving larvae will hatch within four weeks of fertilization. At Monomoy, horseshoe crabs spend their first few years of life on the tidal flats surrounding the islands. Juveniles feed on small clams, crustaceans, and worms before the daytime low tide and then burrow in the sand for the remainder of the day. They move to deeper waters as they grow larger, but return to beaches to spawn as they reach sexual maturity in about eight years after hatching. With a life expectancy of 20 years or more, females may lay as many as 800,000 eggs over her lifetime. Horseshoe crabs are commercially harvested for bait and for their unique blue blood, which is used for medical testing to detect pathogenic endotoxins in injectable drugs and implanted devices. Once captured, live horseshoe crabs are transported to laboratories for bleeding and later returned to the water. If you've ever had a pacemaker, stint, or had any IV drugs or fluids, you can thank a horseshoe crab for keeping you safe. Since the late 1990s, concerns have been expressed by state and federal fishery resource agencies and conservation organizations of growing horseshoe crab exploitation. Due to their importance to the migratory birds for which the refuge was established to protect, in 2000, refuge officials enforced a prohibition on all horseshoe crab harvest within Monomoy's boundaries, which continues today. In most years since 2001, refuge staff and volunteers have conducted horseshoe crab spawning counts and mark recapture surveys. Data is reported to state and federal fisheries management agencies and is used to track changes in populations over time, document movement between embayments, and document impacts of harvest activity. If you find a tagged horseshoe crab, whether alive or deceased, you can help by calling the hotline on the tag or visiting the website www.fws.gov backslash crab tag. You may even receive a special reward from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Always remember to be respectful of the horseshoe crabs you encounter and do not pick up live crabs by their tail, as this could harm them. Instead, gently pick them up by both sides of the shell, the prosoma, using two hands. Horseshoe crabs play an important role in the intertidal habitats for the continuation of their species through breeding, helping to provide a food source for our precious shorebirds, all while contributing to human health and scientific research. Careful management of their habitat will go a long way in helping these amazing living fossils stick around for another 445 million years.